Let's discuss about Lenovo Legion Go. As you know, I just got this device and after one day of usage with this device, I want to make this video. Um, at this point, uh, we will start with a short intro introduction here about this device, what to expect from it, um, hardware information and after that, my experience. As you know, um, this is the latest handheld uh, device um, available out there. Um, Lenovo Legion Go 8.8 inch display and um, a powerful hardware. Most of it, it looks like what we already have on uh, Asus ROG Li, but we have um, a faster um, RAM, so um, it should bring a boost in uh, in uh, in every game. Anyway, um, this is the device. This is uh, this is how it looks. It's huge, and only when you start this 8.8 inch display, you'll see how huge it is compared with anything else, anything that I had until now, Steam Deck and Asus ROG Li. At this point, I have to say there is no turning back to a smaller screen like the one available on Steam Deck or Asus ROG Li. This is happening again. I had this with um, Steam Deck. Uh, when I, I had a Nintendo Switch, after that Steam Deck, it was incredible. After that I got uh, ROG Li and it was way, way better than Steam Deck. And now this one, with a, with a display like this, there's no going back, even with that uh, OLED display uh, that will be available on the improved version of Steam Deck. I believe it won't ma make too much difference from from what I saw and um, it, it cannot compare even with uh, ROG Li and with this one. Anyway, that's another discussion. This is the device 8.8 uh, inch display. We have um, at this point the best joysticks available on a handheld device. They have whole effect. They don't have anything mechanic here touching on the side. That means uh, they they uh, they won't have um, the drift problem uh, uh, encountered in uh, Nintendo Switch, Steam Deck, and so on. Um, this is incredible, and they feel different. I love how they they respond here when you move them. As I said uh, in my previous video they uh, they feel way way better than uh, anything else um i like the d-pad even if it's clicky and um maybe too clicky i uh, i like it we have um, the classic buttons here we have a trackpad in this area i have to say steam deck has better trackpads than this one uh, uh, those on steam deck are incredible they are uh, uh, they are pressing it's, it's another level out there with the trackpad, but it's nice to have it here integrated. We have, as you see here, four buttons. And with uh, this one, you will summon the Legion space immediately. I will start it. A bit strange, and it will take you uh, some time to, to get used with the, this button here. It's basically what we have on Steam Deck and uh, ROG Ally here in uh, the upper side. Um, options. Anyway, um, you have shortcuts here. At this point, indeed, uh, Asus ROG Li has probably a better user interface. This is how, it fe how I feel it. It has more shortcuts and you can find everything easier than this one. But let's not forget, in day one, um, Asus ROG Li had a lot of problems and so on. Um, I'm very sure that uh, after a time we will have all kind of improvements here. Another um, um, another aspect, these buttons here on, also on the side as you see we have a lot of buttons. Uh, we have the FPS mode which is by the way incredible. I, I, I wasn't thinking that transforming uh, the controller into a mouse, it will feel uh, like that. Anyway, here we have uh, the triggers, um, the, uh, left button and right button here. And uh, on the side, we have uh, some extra buttons. As you see, you can customize them. You have here a scroll wheel for the FPS mode. 
and um, you have a kickstand a huge kickstand in fact and it's made really really well you can adjust it in uh, in any angle you want like this and i highly appreciate this one here we have the on off button the jack port um, the fan uh, area here the, for the cooler uh, we have a micro sd um, slot usb type c volume up down and here on the base we have another usb type c and this is incredible because you can connect the charger and you can put another external storage like an ssd a stick uh, memory stick basically anything else it's nice to have two usb uh, c um, ports here on this controller we have another button which is uh, which is the fps mode you turn it on and off here um, and this is what I wanted to show you. Um, you can remove these controllers. You know, I was afraid someone asked me if, if they move uh, left, right. There is a small um, feeling here in the left, but I, I, I don't, I couldn't say if they are moving or not. Anyway, they, they look pretty solid and I hope they will stay like like this look something is feeling here definitely and here but when you play li like this you you won't feel it anyway to remove uh, to remove the controller just press here I don't know how exactly they are working and uh, they have some magnets something li like this anyway the system it's it's impressive and after and you slide uh, li like this down look to put them uh, to put them back just put them li like this and this is it uh, automatically so let me show you again just press on that button on the back and slide a bit li li like this look it's very easy once you get it how uh, how to do it um, this is the magnetic uh, base for um, for this uh, controller and this is how you transform everything to a, to a mouse I tried uh, the FPS mode in a game uh, in cyberpunk 2077 and it's amazing so again it's magnetic look and like this amazing feature again to to, um, to remove the controller let me show you just like this and here it is this is uh, this is the device this is how it looks a like a huge tablet um, let's uh, let's start it but first of all let's put the controllers here back again just put them like this you don't have to do basically anything here just align them um, uh, with with the console let me show you oops This is it. You hear a click and you get it. And again. And this is it. Let's turn it on. You have LEDs here for uh, for the joysticks. They are not so um huge like the ones available in uh, ROG Li and this is the screen just look at this beauty let me let me put uh, here the code and here we have Lenovo Legion And this is basically a uh, Lenovo Legion Space. Um, let me show you something here. Okay. Let's open the kickstand. 
and if we press here Lenovo Legion space we open this it's basically an interface where you can uh, see your games your um, um, uh, platforms something uh, like this um, if we press this button we have uh, some options including settings and we have the possibility to customize the TDP at this point I'm, go with, I'm going uh, with a custom mode um, up to 30 uh, watt uh, and you have the possibility to activate full fan speed it's noisy if you activate it just listen but you will have a fantastic cooling system active here for your device if you play a lot AAA games but you can you can let it in this way on normal mode hey okay L like this Okay, we have um, controllers here, we have the possibility to customize them, to test them. Anyway, it's an interface where you have all kind of uh, settings, but you have to do the up updates from their website. You have to go to Lenovo website to download the drivers. This is, uh, this is a huge problem for a lot of users there is nothing here uh, an interface where you can download everything like on steam deck you, on steam deck you just press check for updates and you receive all the updates don't forget this is a pc you have to customize it and you have to install all kind of uh, drivers and programs apps what you believe it's better for you but once you do all these um, Lenovo Legion Go it's 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 incredible um, let's uh, let's go here to let me show you immediately something so I will start um, I will start uh, steam and I will show you I will show you a game one moment please I'm very excited with this one and you need at least one day to to get it to to, to understand this device well this is it the speakers I said they are lower than what we have on uh, Asus ROG Ally probably they are but not with much um, This is how it looks and um, I love it. I wanted to make uh, this, uh, this video to, to show you. Let, let's, let's open this. Let's, in fact, let's get it out like this. Let's activate the FPS mode and let's see. Look, <laughs> you, f you have a mouse with you every time and this feature what Lenovo created uh, it's innovation basically and um, and it's really impressive and it works really well <laughs> Okay, let's turn it off. I have to say at this point for me, uh, this device, it's so impressive that I feel like it's my, uh, it's my first handheld ever. Okay, this is it.
in the rest you have the windows 11 experience you can install everything with this huge display everything looks way way better and um, let's make some gameplays here and let me show you what it can offer from uh, from this button you have the possibility to to go to quick settings you have uh, the brightness uh, for your display you have the sound you have the possibility to choose between uh, resolutions um, 1280 by 800 1920 by 1200 2560 by 1600 and some of you would expect to play all the games with 1600 that's not the point of this screen, of this display. You can play some of the games with lower graphics, but my advice, play them with 1200, 1920 by 1200. They look super sharp and impressive. Uh, the idea is not to have a huge resolution and to play all the games with uh, that huge resolution. After all, it's a handheld device. But when you use here 1600 resolution for everything, everything is so sharp and um, what can I say it's it's impressive you have refresh rate 60 Hertz 144 the, the other one lighting lighting uh, effect for uh, for your joysticks you have um, console key mapping and here it is uh, some info related to your uh, to your device VRAM CPU GPU um, at this point I have 4 gigabytes of VRAM you have the possibility to customize the thermal mode the TDP as you see uh, between 5 and 30 watts and you can choose OS performance mode overall um, overall everything looks uh, simple here and uh, fast you have everything you need my uh, my opinion is that uh, Lenovo Legion Go definitely needs some uh, polish here with with this interface but maybe they changed this i saw in some videos that when they press this one it's opening basically lenovo space maybe they had review units maybe with the latest updates lenovo changed this interface i don't know what to believe at this point related to some videos out there the idea is if you press it here it's it's only quick settings um these are the shortcuts that you you have for your device anyway after one day with this device oh man oh god <laughs> i'm so glad that i have it and keep in mind that uh, i used steam deck asus rog li and now lenovo legion go lenovo legion go it's uh, it's a it's at another level. Even if we have the same hardware specs, almost ninety five percent. Let's let's call it li like this. This this huge display, and I'm, and I'm not talking about also about the controllers. This huge display will change everything. I know there are a lot of you out there. They they don't know what to do to get it or not to get it is it a good device or not man go for it it's it's fantastic one once you you make all um, all the updates for it and you install all the drivers you won't go back to a smaller display that's for sure